G'day guys, it's the Jimmy Hack channel. Just wanted to show you something in relation to the temperature gauge in your Ford Falcon Fairmont Fairlane. Um, as you can see, the needle currently on this one is on the H. Now, when I have a look at the um, ECU Direct, we're tell it's telling us it's about 88, 89 degrees. Um, the top one there I've got is the ECU temperature, then there's the cylinder head temperature, uh, voltage, idle air intake and transmission temperature so i want to show you that even when it gets up to 100 degrees that barely moves it'll basically stay the same right up to about 108 okay so basically now we're on right on the last bit of the n on the normal uh usually between the n and the o that's typically where the the um, gauge will stay just have a look at the temperature we've got here on the screen now. We're nudging 93 degrees. I'll just pause this, we'll wait for it to get a bit hotter. Okay, we're back again. The gauge hasn't moved. It's still on the last bit of the end. And we're currently up to 98 degrees, cylinder head temperature. That's the second one down. Pause it again. All right, we've just come off pause there. It's been a couple of minutes. As you can see, the red line is still on the end. This is the current temperature, 103 degrees. All right, so as you can see, guys, um, it doesn't matter if you're at 90 degrees or 108 degrees, that is where the needle stays. It's not till you get over 108 to around 113 will that needle actually start to move. And I'm going to take you right up there. We'll take this car right up to about 115 degrees so I can show you what happens. All right, no surprise, it's still on the end. Now we're nudging 108 degrees. Transmission temperature starting to come up a bit. It's at 92. Transmission is going through the radiator, so it will, of course, get warm. That's why it's always a good idea to run a separate cooler and not have it connected to the radiator, especially if you're in Queensland. We just don't, we simply don't need it connected to the radiator. All right, so now we're up at 110 degrees. Now the gauge is just starting to move at 110. Okay, we've just come up to the O. So it's usually up to about the 108 degrees where it starts to move. Uh, the light on the dash will come on at around about 113. See how it's starting to, to move quite quickly now? They do that to capture your eyes. All right, so now we're at 111 degrees. Once it hits about 114, we should see the uh, warning light come on the dash overheat. I'll just pause this for a second till we get to 114. All right, we're back again. We're on the M, and we are currently sitting at 113 degrees. As you can see, the temperature transmission is at 97. Still no warnings that the motor's hot. It's approaching the A. We're now at 114 degrees. All right, it's coming up to the L. We're at 116 degrees. Still no warning lights. This is why you shouldn't rely on your gauges. Um, they're usually a bit too late. I've pressure tested this motor to 120, so we'll see if it holds up. All right, we're at the L. 118, we're just nudging it, we're close, we're just about on 118 degrees there. We're just about on the H. Still no temperature warning light going off or uh, chime. I just heard a click. I'm waiting for a light to come on. Where is it? We're at 119 degrees. All right, it's going to shut the engine down. Turn the ignition back on. All right, we've got 120 on here. Temperature lights just come on. 
So there you go, folks. Don't rely on your instrument cluster to tell you if you're at about 105 degrees or 102 degrees. Simply won't tell you. It'll stay on the N right up to about 103. All right, guys. Hope that's been a good, um, good video.